hey hello guys so so today i'm going to teach you something about the twitter suit how to basically program this so so you can see there are two sections over here like add a section and insert a section you can press any one of it no you can press okay now you can see the number of instructions over here so i'm i'm not going to teach you about this i'm going to teach you a basic about this so so this is nothing but a, a open switch and a closed switch and the output and the coil the same but the close coil okay so let's do it now this uh, I'll just show you a basic how to how to run program okay? now this is the input now take a output this is output now how to address this now for addressing we need as this is the input so we'll use I zero is this is a start this is actually is prefix of any kind of input which you are using in here and Twitter suit so then use dot now for this this is q it starts from q0 and 100 zero, zero, and starts from 0 so let's go now for simulation goes you can see these three one for save another one for analyzing and save analyze it analyze is nothing but a compiling a program if it is wrong or right you get a problem now simulation now you can see there are two pops in this simulation and this this one is nothing but an input and output which we need to on which uh, all status you can see here this pop is used for that now for a run it is actually not in a run mode so for putting into the run mode then press this play button and okay then you can see this goes to the run mode okay so here we go so this is done now for input give for giving an input we need to press this zero because this is nothing but the first input and this is the first input if it is one then it should be first two then it should be two like that okay here we go we with the first input like if it is input is on then output is on so this is the way the program is now let's move on to the basic program that is nothing that is nothing but a not gate now for not gate if the input is on then output is off if input is on if input is off then output is on so we need to make use of a nc for that Okay, let's give the same thing. Look, this is actually in an off state. So, if input is off, then it should be on. And if it is on, then it should be off. So, here we go. Simulate it again. Look, it is in the off state. It means if input is off, then output is on. Now, if we owning this, if you giving a high value to this or making it inactive, then uh, it should be off. Like, press this. It should be off okay so this is the basic not gate then let's move on to the next basic program that is uh, the or gate now for or gate if it is zero zero it is zero if it, any input is one any input is high then it is high so let's do it so for or gate we need to make a use of a parallel thing and make use of the same now look again input here we will give another uh, different input i0.1 okay so you're getting this uh, yeah now this both is off it is off if you're giving any one as high then it is high because if it is high then it, this circuit gets completed if it is high, this gets come completed this is open no problem this is short circuit so this is how it works like the nugget so let's simulate it again Now move on to the, uh, there is the run mode. Okay, so now let's check if one input is on, it should be on. Yes, it is on. If both is on, it should be on. This is our gate. Yes, it is on. If both is off, it should be off. Yeah, it is off. This is what, how it works. Now let's move on to the next program that is AND gate. Now for AND gates, it is the same, but it would come in series, in that it is parallel, and this it is series, I0.1. Look, if any one input is on, this won't be on, because this is open, if any, this is on, this is open, this will be off, 
if this is on this is open this would be off so for and gate we know if it is one one then it is one so let's emulate it Here we go. If it is on, it is off. If one is on, it is still off. So we need both to be on for AND gate. That's how AND gate works. You must be knowing that. Cool. So here we go. So this is how the basic programs work. And now we use it. So we need to just summarize a few things like in uh, Twitter suit the addressing is given by giving a start as person that I zero for input that Q zero for output like that is how it works uh, for simulation we need to use this three pop-ups here in the bottom like one for the save then analyze like for compiling the program is it right or wrong in simulation then we, we, we saw the two pop-ups coming up two pop-ups here on simulation then is one input and output status uh, it is always in analog and digital it is always in digital you must be knowing that okay here we go now uh, now for running this this is this is how this is this is how it all works okay so I, i'll be giving you a little homework to do in home uh, if you really want to like if you really want to learn more things about it so i want you to uh, i want you guys to do the programming on xor and xnor gates and and that's it so i'll be teaching you some more tough advanced programs so by next lecture so thanks for watching hey hello guys so so today i'm going to teach you something about that we just how to basically program this so